that the chat log does not lie. That's right, the chat log doesn't lie. Shirt now available at anxietywear.com for only $17.99. I deal with all of their merchandise myself at anxietywear.com, so unlike most YouTubers, I can price it pretty low and uh, still offer supreme quality. And the Midnight Storm Anxiety War short sleeve shirts are finally back in stock as well after selling out. Thank you, everyone. The following preview showcases exclusive Predator content found at Anxiety War Raw. Become a member for only $5 a month at patreon.com slash anxiety war, and you'll be more than satisfied. Hello Warriors, welcome to Anxiety War Raw. I hope everyone is doing well, and let me just tell you right off the bat, this is going to be a very long video. And it's really not my fault, I, I don't, it's not like one day I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make a long Predator video. It just, it depends, it depends on how long I've talked to the Predator, it depends on whether or not they actually showed up to meet, you know, I can't control that. Um, it's all out of my control. It's just these predators are all different and some of them are needy and this guy was the neediest predator I've ever dealt with in my life. He would send paragraph upon paragraph upon paragraph upon paragraph. I'm talking 30 messages in a row sometimes at least. Essays. Just, just he would not stop. It didn't matter if I replied to him or not. He would send one message, then we would wait a few minutes, and you send another message, then you would wait an hour, then you would send more messages, more messages, more messages. This was so overwhelming for me and talking with other predators too. I've talked to so many predators, and this guy is just, oh my gosh. I had to tell him several times, just, you're talking too much, guy. You're talking too much. It was one of the uh, most tedious confrontations as well. Um, the, the guy was being very vague. I didn't know what tricks he had up his sleeve. Um, he was extremely cautious. Perhaps he learned from the best. Mr. Crowley. <laughs> extremely cautious. He talked with me from several different accounts. He would always just bail and then create a new account and hit me up again, expecting me to, to know who he is, even when he would use a different name. Oh, it was so annoying. This is the, the most annoying predator for sure. Um, and I've dealt with some annoying ones, but this guy, oh my gosh. He gets extremely graphic too, so just a heads up. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean that. He sent pictures of his penis. He sent a video of himself. He, he sent a lot of things that were just disgusting. And he wanted to, the things he wanted to do, he wanted me to send nude pictures, thinking me to be a 15-year-old girl. He wanted to, when we would meet, he wanted to record uh, our our uh, sexual encounter, um, so he wanted to, to produce child porn, um, and he, he just even asking for child porn. He just he he wanted that. He he wanted to do all sorts of crazy things. He he wanted me to at one point not have birth control, and so that he could get me pregnant. Just all sorts of screwed up things um, that this man has has said and done. One of the worst predators, if you ask me. So again, this is going to be a very long video predator video um so grab a snack uh get comfortable not too comfortable though huh um get something to eat enjoy yourself some popcorn maybe uh or you could get some healthier options like uh apples or banana not no not bananas do not eat a banana while watching this predator video you have been warned okay okay <laughs> let's get to it on march 12th 2021 i was contacted by a guy who was frequenting a chat room only for teenagers. How are you doing, gorgeous? And then sending a picture of himself. As you can see, he is not a teenager. Get that affliction shirt out of here. I like your shirt. I really don't. Thank you. What are you up to? At this point, it is late at night. I said, I'm just about ready to go to bed. Haha, <laughs> why? Are you going to be naughty before sleep? Lol, because that would just be wrong unless I was there. I'm just about to either watch TV or stroke and play with something, what? Or maybe cold shower in bed, but that just feels lame and boring. I think I'm taking it out. So if that, I think I am taking it out. Oh, his penis. Man, I should know what's up, you know. Oh, uh, these are predators I'm talking about. I just have to get in a perverted mindset to understand all this. That upsets you, I am sorry. That's what he would do. I wouldn't reply to him all the time. Well, I'm like, I'm not, I don't reply instantly, right? I don't do that. But he would see that as he, just one of the most desperate predators ever. He would just always follow up with message after message after message, unsolicited. I asked him, taking out what? Like the trash? No. 
You know what, lol. Something you probably don't want to see or know about. I still haven't replied. Sorry, you know us guys always horny. I hope that doesn't upset you. Me taking off my boxers for you and my dick out, or me looking at your profile pic and stroking my dick thinking of you? May I see any other pics of you? Do you ever show your body or even touch yourself? Okay, this is why I warned you guys. Do not eat a banana while watching these videos. Because he sent, he sent a picture of his penis. There is a pic. I am not hard. I am waiting for you. In which part you like or what you want me to do. I will chill and watch TV till you tell me what you want me to do. Ooh, and then another picture of his wiener uh, compacted in his shorts. Or his boxers that say reaction. I hope you like. I want to stroke my dick for you as, as we chat and I look at your, your picture until I come for you. I still didn't reply. Okay, I guess I'm going to take it out and stroke it before bed and look at your pic until I come and then go to bed. I, I didn't reply to him that whole day, that whole night. I didn't reply. Hey, he said in the next day, March 17th. So then I, 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 I'm I greeted with just a whole bunch of, the, of these messages, all in a row, all these messages. And I'm like, dude, where are you from? And how old are you? Probably too old for you, beautiful, unless you like older. And I am from Michigan. And he sends the same picture that he initially sent a few days earlier. It's the same picture. Boo, I just saw that. And I was really horny last night. Sorry if you didn't like. May I see any other pics of you, baby? And that was my dick before I stroked it. And look at, her, at your pic, wishing you were touching my dick. Did you like seeing it? And do I look too old for you? Time passes on. You never chat long, huh? I said, yo, I already saw that pic. How old are you, though? 36. And you? I'm 15. Too too old, right? I'm not coming to... You know what? It's got to be frustrating for the people that are not native English speakers seeing these native English American speakers just screw up their English and just don't don't take Predator's English as uh, as this is good English. Never. I said, no, you're, just, you're, you're not that old. You're not 40. <laughs> A few years from 40. LOL. So you would F me? Can I see some pics of you? Where are you from? And he would, he would say the same thing all the time. Just try to flatter me with saying the most perverted things ever that in no way would someone find flattering that I think. It's just, he was out to lunch. He was, he was, uh, it's gonna get, it's gonna get really graphic. Again, you know, this is just, we're barely into it. I wanted to let you guys know, like, how just annoying this guy was and how persistent he was. But I'll, I'll try to my best at making it entertaining because again, these are all just all of these messages are in a row, and he just gets so graphic. So um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna take such a long time editing all of this. Uh, okay, anyway, I keep looking at your pic, and each time I think one of two things: I either think of how much I want to kiss your beautiful lips, or the other is how bad I want those lips wrapped around my hard dick as you swallow and suck my dick good. Haha, <laughs> never in a million years did I think a 15 year old would be so beautiful and that I would stroke my cock till I came for her. I feel kind of dirty for it, and you so young, but if you liked it, and if it makes you happy, I came for you, whatever, life is too short. And he goes on to say, And by the way, I want to suck and lick your young pussy so I can see how amazing your young tight pussy tastes. Would you let me eat your pussy baby? <coughs> no, this is America, we don't eat cat. I still didn't reply to him, yet he would always, you can count on him, to send message upon message upon message. <sighs> would you be with a guy as old as me? If you let me, I would make sure you were never horny again. Isn't that bad? Make sure you were oh, okay, anyway. I would lick and suck your pussy and have my tongue deep inside it, eating your pussy till you come before I put my, this is the most graphic predator, sorry, I just had to interject there. Seriously, this is ridiculous. Where was I? <sighs> I would lick and suck your pussy and have my tongue deep inside it, eating your pussy till you come before I put my dick in you and let you feel me going deeper and deeper in your young yummy pussy till I fill your pussy with my warm cum. You would always have a smile on your face. You could have this dick whenever and wherever, in public, all night long. In public? All night long? When you spend the night and let me F you first thing, then shower together, then make you breakfast. Aw, how sweet. What a moron. Haha, <laughs> I just got hard imagining that. I'm going to take it out and stroke it thinking how much fun we could have. Okay, baby, please send me some pics. And I like what? Like, he, he, I, I never even responded to him yet. The only one I have to look at is your profile pic that I looked at where I came for you. God, I want to kiss and cuddle with, with you, beautiful. I think these guys think that 
a young girl would would like to think that oh my god like he came for me that's so cute Ugh. i hope all of that is okay and you like i want you happy and then he sent a picture of himself stroking his dick knowing i am an underage girl and another one and i finally replied this was this was insane all of these texts just <laughs> insane i finally replied i said you you overwhelm me with texts and I'm in Grand Rapids, what about you? It's just so annoying because he asks me a million questions and just, he keeps on asking questions and he tells me all sorts of things and it's just, let me catch up, you know? So when I were to reply, man, and I just hate, I just hate looking at my messages. It seems so much to reply to. So I, you know, I had to dissect it and think, okay, well, okay, he said this, I have to say that. But I just said straight up, dude, it's like, you're, you're, you're saying too much, just shut up. <laughs> But uh, after I said I live in Grand Rapids, he said, Grand Rapids, what? No way, what part? Would your parents let you stay at his house? Whoa. Would you really F and suck me? I would just be so scared because of the law. That's right, be afraid. The youngest I have been with is 23. What school do you go to? And that was that. From that account, he stopped talking to me. That was, let's see, this was March 18th. He stopped talking to me. He had went by the name of uh, uh, Jay Kane, the, the, the name Jay Kane on that account. And then he messages me uh, later that night with a, a different account under Sean M. So of of course I'm gonna be like like who are you? You know what I mean? Like what? Like he changed his name and he used a totally different account to contact me. And just just the first message from this new account said, so I might have overreacted. I am sorry. And I'm at this point, I have no idea what's going on. Also that I overwhelmed you with messages and dick pics, but I love that you want to suck and F me. And you're not a virgin? I just ask because I didn't lose mine till 16 on my dad's birthday, lol. All right, okay, moving on. I have no idea, I'm not even gonna go there. Why is that, that's very specific, you know, for, for him even to mention that too. It's very memorable for him. What, did his daddy like get, I, I have no idea. This is so this is so weird. Anyway, you would seriously suck on my cock. That hurts, by the way. Stroking it so much while I thought of you and blew you up with messages. That's right, dude. You need to, you need to stop that. And I would love you naked in bed, cuddling or licking your pussy while you watch TV. But I won't lie. I'm scared of getting in trouble. I didn't set out of ever meeting anyone. Even in the Grand Rapids chats, I talked to girls from New Jersey, oh, Indy, and so on. Oh. Oh, 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 Matt, Ohio. <laughs> I'm dumb. But see, if you were if you were to capitalize the H there, then then I would kind of know. But and come on, India is that what? What is that? Is that India or Indiana? Like no, just kidding. But I am going to shut up and daydream of you and stroke this sore dick for you. And then remember, this is all in a row still. I lost the beginning of our chat. In what room? I never I never thought we met in a Grand Rapids room. Duh. I thought you somehow knew where I lived. He's, so he's getting paranoid, uh, thinking that I, I know where he lives just, just because we were in the, as, the same chat room. I am not sure what it's like for you, women, on her, but for guys. What? The women are fake slash spam slash bots, or hookers, or escorts, or want you to buy their videos. I would easily say 85% if not higher. So I freaked. I deleted my account and every pic. Sad face. So you might have to spend the night, so I have some pics. Maybe with me sliding in you, or you sucking me. He wants to produce child pornography. I didn't say anything about this at all. He's all just fantasizing about this, and wanting it to, to make it this, this all happen in real life. Him having a camera, and, and filming, or recording, or taking pictures of me and him having sex, when we didn't even go there yet, as far as planning that out, but he, he, he had it all planned out for himself, and this was, this was what he was saying, this is what he planned to do. I want to make you moan and come, and not want to put your clothes back on, because you want to keep having sex. I hope you're not mad at me, plus I got out of a horrible relationship that really effed up my life, and now I'm just trying to figure that part out and be happy. You Well, you are screwing up hard, dude. No pun intended. Oh, this is bad. If you let me put hard cock deep inside, is that what? Is that like, it sounds like a name. If you let me put hard cock deep inside it, come on. Deep inside that young tight pussy, will you let me come in you? God, I want to feel your mouth on my cock. I was going to tell you to come over after school tomorrow. Man, and he just goes on and on and on. Still, oh. 
I would have to get you an Uber here though. I think my transmission went out in the truck. I don't mind paying for it, a Uber to have you to myself all night. If you're serious and want to let me know ASAP, if you're serious and want, if you're serious and want to, let me know ASAP. See how that screws me up? English, come on, guy. I want my cock nice and freshly shaven and smooth for you. And if by some chance you're a virgin, the only diff to me is we will have to go slow and let you get used to it. And I would take extra care not to hurt you and you to like it. But either way, if you want to, I would love you here. Just don't plan on being clo in clothing very often. I want you naked. Come get this dick, baby, and suck and F me good and make this dick yours. And then at this point, like, at this point, I hadn't even seen all this. This is just all ever since this new account. And even before then, I hadn't replied to him. And he still continues, like, every other minute or every half hour or whatever, he would send more messages on and on. That's all he did, like, all day, all night. That's what he was doing so many times. Like, this is just the beginning still. Um, it led into the night, March 19th at 1235 in the morning. He continued, you know, I have come for you every night since you messaged me back. Come over and let come in you and on you and taste your sweet pussy. I bet you taste so good. Uh, I, I, you have to pry my head. Man, I'm getting winded. I just, this is so much. It's you, whatever. I have, you have pry my head away. God, tonight I'm going to have to stroke it again for you. I am excited. I told you. Oh my gosh. This is another long one. I am excited I told you to come over. I hope you will, but if not, I guess I will see you really serious. You weren't really serious. I am only being with one young sexy girl, you, or I won't be. If you have fun, maybe we can keep effing. I know I will want more than one night with you. Okay, I will shut up. Yes, please, please, Sean or, or Jay Kane or whatever your name is, just shut up. No else to talk to while I have my dick out for my naughty gorgeous little girl he wants to treat like a queen and F her like a porn star. This is so difficult for me to read. It really is. Um, okay. If you do come over and we have sex, I won't be effing anyone else. Oh, wow. Such a loyal man. Such a gentleman this guy is. Bullcrap. Where was I? Man, it's, it's not even broken up. Like, it's just one little huge, like, it's just one huge mass of text. Okay, I will shut up. No, no one, no else, no else to talk to. What the? F While I have my dick out for my naughty, gorgeous little girl, he wants to treat her like a queen and f her like a porn star. I've heard that from predators so much. Them talking about you're gonna be my personal porn star. <laughs> if you do come over and we have sex, I won't be effing anyone else but you till you get sick of this older hard cock deep inside you. God, you really make this dick so hard for you. I haven't even said anything. And I ignored him for a few days. Um, I finally replied. Um, I said, dude, so many texts. This is getting ridiculous. As I replied to that account, he had already sent me another message from a different account. So he stopped using that account. And so I never even got to talk to him from that account that he saw. Um, but he, then he started using a different account again under JK, the name JK. March 22nd. How are you? Did you miss or think of me? Did you ask your mom about spending the night? Uh, I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I have no idea who this is. This is a different account again with a different name. Um, did you have a good weekend, he asked. I didn't say anything, so March 24th, hey. And then an hour later after he sent that, I miss you. I said, who is this? Like, I already applied to your other account. Like, what are you doing? Like, stop changing accounts, like, for real. Oh, my gosh. Then he never replied on that account. He messaged me from a different account again. Really getting into this because it's just... It's just so, it's just, oh, um, this guy was just a lot of work talking to, you know, a lot of work. A lot of work while talking to so many other predators that you've seen, some of them you, you haven't, and just like some of these guys, I, I didn't want this guy to be a predator that, that I would talk to for years. Um, I confronted a predator yesterday who I had been talking to for a year and a half, and it's just all the time, so... Some of these things last a long time, and I'm very patient, and as much as I hate doing it, um, for, especially when it's this overwhelming and just grueling is the word, it's totally grueling, um, I just, I have to do it, you know what I mean? I, um, I, whether or not it's short or long, or like the chats, um, I, I have to stay the course, and uh, man, this, this, all in, all, this whole conversation, uh, this whole chat with this guy lasted three months 
but it was um, a very intensive three months of just oh my oh. and we're not even to the confrontation yet the confrontation's another story he didn't reply from that account that you just saw like that was that and i, I hadn't heard anything from him for a couple weeks and then he messages me under a different account sean mascowshaws which is a fake name oh it's just so 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 much i'll i'll call my i'll call my demeter down i need to take a, a sip of water here to talk so much that lead me to talk so much that um just just needed some water <laughs> i get riled up while doing these videos because it just brings it all back but anyway he messages me a couple weeks later from a different account four in the morning april 5th how are you doing gorgeous then 5 10 in the morning that same day he sends a picture of himself on the left and as you can see he wants to get wet by the looks of his uh, swim trunks and he likes the smell of fish he just randomly sent this to me um and so like i knew who it was and he had been using the name sean m before so you know i, I knew it was that guy but i'm like dude stop changing accounts oh then later that night still april 5th are you on anymore did your mom ever say you could spend the night how 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 much is he gonna ask me that same question from so many different accounts hang on i have need to crack my i need to calm my demeanor down I'm getting into it, y'all. Hang on, listen to this. Oh. Skelly? Oh yeah, well, okay, let's take a little uh, tangent. That's my ex-girlfriend, Skelly. You may remember her. Slut. That is my pet crow, Mr. Crowley. That is an original Fallout Shelter sign that my dad found at the scrapyard. And this is an Anxiety War shirt you can get at anxietywar.com. I love doing these Predator videos. I love doing them. It's just so much fun. Um, I really do like doing this. This is work, you know, it's a lot of work, but it feels good. You know, it feels good doing this. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I just had a banana earlier. No, just kidding. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I, I asked him, why are you continuing to use different accounts? It's weird. I told him and get ready for a really long reply, but with several different messages all in a row. I mean, talking dozens of messages all in a row without me re replying to any of them and just him going on and on and on and on. Okay, so here we go again. It's cause I'm scared of getting in trouble, hon. That's right, you should think about that. Are you a cop? This sticker available at anxietywar.com, $2.50 free shipping anywhere in the world. I don't think it's against the law to hang out. Hanging out, what were we just talking about? Oh, let him remind us in the next message. But, what if I really wanted to feel you suck in my dick, or feel your pussy wrapped around me as I push it deeper and deeper inside you wanting to hear you moan? I don't think I could just hang out. I would want to see your young sexy body, and if you really would F me. I have stroked my cock and came for you so many times already. We know you've already said this so many times, Sean, or whatever your name is. Sorry, it's weird, hun. Even now looking at your pic, I'm getting hard for you. Does that make me bad or wrong? I want to taste you and make you come. Yeah, it makes you bad, dude. You sent pictures of your penis to who you thought to be an underage girl. You wanted to, you're intending to have sex with her. You want to really meet her uh, to have sex. You want to record you having sex with who you think to be an underage girl. Absolutely, it's wrong. And you bet it's weird. Sorry, it's weird, hun. You bet it's weird. Would you really let me F you, sweetheart? All in a row, without me replying, he went on to say, Sorry, I couldn't wait to see if you got online or if you didn't to tell me if you would be okay with or like if I dropped. <laughs> it's so difficult to read. I can't read. Or like if I dropped these boxers and jerked off to your pick like I was before. Not sure if you are still okay with me doing that while looking at you. In school, I didn't do good in reading. I really didn't. Um, but for the most part, just because I didn't enjoy reading uh, the stuff that was given to me where... You're tested on reading and something you're not interested in. How can you pay attention? You know what I mean? But this is a little different because this is just very broken English. So it is difficult. Uh, I'm trying my best. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay. Um, he jerked off to my pick. Okay, like, like I was before. Okay, oh, you said that a million times. I would get that right on a test if I was tested about this. Like, did the predator say that he jerked off to you? I'd be like, yes. Like, how many times? One, two, three, four. I'd be like, all of the above. Mm hmm. Many times over. Okay, jerked off to your pick like I was before. Okay, not sure if you are still okay with me doing that while looking at you. I love your lips. By the way, I wish you were on my lap kissing me. 
I want you bad, baby, but I am scared of getting in trouble. Then stop talking to me. Stop. Stop it. Stop everything. And I, I berated him later. Much later, I would, and I would do it many times. I would berate him. Dude, if you're worried about getting into trouble, stop doing this. Stop talking about having sex. Stop saying you, you, you want uh, to take pictures having sex. Stop sending pictures of your penis to me. Just stop everything. Stop talking to me. Because if I see you, I'm going to have to touch you and taste your young, young, tight pussy. I want to hear you moan. And we've heard this so many times before. I want to hear you moan and come with this hard, older, hard dick so deep inside your young, tight little body. I want you to fall in love with how my cock feels sliding in and out of you. Wow, I thought you meant fall in love with, with me and we could live happily ever. No, he, he, he doesn't want, want that. He wants me to fall in love with the way his cock slides in me. What a... What a this is just sick. Uh oh, here we go. With no condom so I can experience all of you and try not to accidentally come in your tight pussy. Though having my cum in, in by far the youngest girl I wanted to F, I see my cum dripping out of you uh, would be so hot. Oh my god, F, I just came so hard for you while I was looking at your eyes. Remember guys, I hadn't replied to him at all. <laughs> at all this is just all in a row this is crazy i wonder what the the message ratio was i would say for every message i would send he would probably send like 40 ish it's about a 1 to 40 ratio seriously and that you know and and that's just like oh like he just even one message it would be a whole paragraph most of the time it's insane i didn't have to talk much i had to read a lot though and sometimes I can't read when you write like this. Do you still want me? And are you serious or are you just teasing me? I didn't say anything. LOL, you probably won't even get back on for, for two days. Oh no, needy. If you're serious about seeing me, can I see a pic of you naked? Have you played with your pussy thinking about a, b a boof me? I finally replied. I finally replied. And it's not that I was seeing these messages. It's just I would go on my phone one day and I would see all of these messages. And I'd be like, oh, and it was so terrible too, because sometimes I would be reading the messages and then he would, I could see that he's typing and then I'm like, oh no, because then he's going to send more and more and more and more. So now I almost feel obligated to stay, but no, I didn't. I, I just ignored this guy and then he would just go on and on. I thought, you know, might as well give him a couple hours for him to send another story, you know, a, a whole nother book. So yeah, I would leave him alone and then I would come back and see just all the sorts of things and just crazy. But I did reply finally. I said, you, you just you just stopped talking to me for some reason because this was on a new account. I said, dude, why do you do that? Uh, and I said, no, I will not send your nudes. I will not do that. What does your mom think? Like, I'm t like I tell my mom that I'm talking to a 36 year old guy that wants to F me seriously. I stopped because I don't want to get in trouble. Jail, sex offender, list goes on. Then stop talking to me. I'm so glad I confronted this guy. I didn't know if I was gonna do it. I didn't know if this would work. I really had no idea. Um, a lot of the guys that I talk to, it's just, yeah, they, they fear uh, getting into it. Sometimes they, they don't worry about, you know, asking for nude pictures. Like, dude, you said you are worried about going to jail and you just said, hey, send me nudes. Like, are you serious? Then shut up. And I deal with that with so many predators, is, is like whether they, meet up or not dude you are committing felonies left and right it really makes me mad these predators really need to just wake up seriously just shut up you're never even really on here are you or don't say much or about what you want to do it's because i'm not a pervert like you dude and i don't have the time i have to talk to like dozens of, of you no, no i'm just kidding i didn't tell him i didn't want to make him jealous that i talk to other people that want to have sex with me i have never done anything like this ever i mean i consider 20 too young but we started talking and I didn't know your age. Dude, you found me in a teenager chat room, only for teenagers. What are you doing there? And I told you I'm 15. I just wanted to have fun with you. I don't want to hurt, take advantage of, or play games. That's why I have been honest. We could totally just hang out, watch a movie, nothing happening. I would be happy and fine with that. I would also feel lucky, honored, and special that someone so young and beautiful wants me. Ooh, okay, hey, a movie night, huh? huh? You would be the only person I ever met off here. The youngest I ever hang out with by years. But I also can't afford to get in trouble. I'm trying to fix my life, not ruin it. We, you said that, I know. But why are you doing this though? Do you get any of that? My life would be ruined. You wouldn't get in trouble, I would. So you know what? I said a movie is just fine. But oh, you're so paranoid. Yes, I am paranoid. I am afraid you might tie me to the bed and take advantage of me. 
Whoa. This is getting a little kinky. Uh-oh. Forcing me to watch you get undressed because I am tied to it and can't move. We were just talking about only a movie. What is up with this, huh? Then you go and pull down my shorts. I try to get away, but I can't move. Then you, you put my dick in your mouth. I fight and I get hard, but honestly, what guy in Lust Gay would get hard from you sucking him? And when I am hard, you stop and guide my hard dick in you. Even as I said and begged you to please don't. And soon I am deep inside you and your pussy is wrapped around my hard dick. Good. And you start riding me like you are a rodeo champion. If I was the bull, okay. If I was the bull and I had this guy on top of me, you know what I would do? I would stick it in. <laughs> Have to keep these videos entertaining. Man, because this is so much, guys. Really. I can't remember if you told me, but are you a virgin? If no, how old is the oldest? <laughs> this guy is sick. I said, no, I'm not a virgin. But I said, if you're paranoid, stop talking about sex. Like, why? Why would he say? He would do that all the time. Oh, I'm worried about getting in trouble. Oh, we could just hang out. Movie. Yeah, movie. Oh, oh no, I'm gonna have sex with it. Oh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Oh, oh no, I'm worried about getting in trouble. Oh, no, I'm paranoid. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna totally. Oh, I'm gonna send me news, baby. Ridiculous. Okay. What are you thinking you want to hang out? <laughs> hang out. And we can talk about sex. It doesn't mean it will happen. We can talk about me winning the lottery. It doesn't mean I will. And sex is always on my mind when I look at your pic. Sorry, 95% of the time I look at your pic, I get hard just from looking at you and wanting you. So then I stroke it and come looking at you, wondering how you turn me on so much. But no, we don't have to talk about it. But I want to be upfront and truthful. If we're talking, my dick is almost guaranteed hard for you. And I am stroking. I hope you're okay with that. In all caps, I hope you're okay with that. Shut up. This is this this guy is just so pathetic. Ugh. There are things I want to know that I might not ever know. What you kiss like, what your pussy tastes like, and how can I make you come, or how would it feel being inside you? Now, this was April 8th. I said, dude, uh, last time we were going to meet, you just disappeared um, on me. So like, I don't I don't know. I am trying not to be worried, but I am scared. And then a few hours later, he followed up with, Can I come deep inside your pussy? It yeah, doesn't mean he's going to do it. Like winning the lottery. Doesn't, I'm going to win the lottery. doesn't mean I'm going to do it. But he asked, Can I come deep inside your pussy? Aren't you on spring break? Come over tonight and spend the night. I can always sleep on the couch. I said, dude, last time we were talking about meeting, you totally bailed. You kept on changing accounts. You ignored me for like a week or, or two or, or whatever. Didn't know what was up. And then you randomly show up again and then just send so much crap from a different account again. I said, dude, I really don't want to play this game. I get it. The only issue is a ride. I said, what? You can't drive? Yeah, but my transmission went out. Get it fixed then, guy, I told him. LOL, you got over three grand? Could do Uber. Send me a sexy pic. Then he got needy again like he always is. The neediest predator ever. Where did you go? Okay, night. <laughs> and then, right after me saying that, dude, you, you just bail. Like, how can I trust that you're actually going to follow through with meeting? Uh, that, that you said before and that you said now this was April 9th he doesn't talk to me he he stopped talking to me um, for quite a bit um, for let's see over a week uh, finally on April 17th he says hey I said dude you disappeared again phone issues this time I get that all the time these predators saying that oh I lost my phone or whatever and just it's just BS and you disappeared last time we were talking, then he ghosted without a word. And that's not true. Like, he, he thinks me doing that, me ghosting him, is for, like, me not responding to him in, like, a few hours. And then he's gone for over a week and then expects me not to be like, dude, what the heck, dude? Like, what what's going on? Ridiculous. I get that from predators all the time. In the next predator video, you'll probably see that. Can I see some pics of you? Uh, he went on to say... Baby, show me your sexy body, something that will make me want to throw you on the bed and rip off your clothes as I am choking you as I finally tear off your panties and slide something hard and deep inside you. I wonder what that would be. I want you on all fours with your donkey in the air so I can stick my tongue inside your pussy and lick and suck it from behind, making sure you're good and wet before I grab your hair. This run-on sentence is ridiculous. Grab your hair inside you and going slow so you can feel it going deep inside you. And with each time I slide out, I go a little faster and put it into you a little harder. Oh. Run on sentence too much. <clears throat> Till I am smacking into your donkey with my thighs, pounding your tight little sweet pussy hard and deep. I will slap your donkey and tell you how amazing you feel and how my cock is starting to fill you up 
would come for you, and I am going to pull your hair, pulling your head back, jeez, head back towards me to kiss you deeply as I thrust as deep as I can inside you and come in your young, tight pussy. Oh my gosh. <sighs> We're not done yet. I want you to feel my warm cum inside of you and watch it drip out. What the heck? Wow, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I drank my water just then instead of after reading that. Dang. At this point, I'm irritated. This was a Saturday. I said, I did not disappear on you last time. I said, dude, you, you are wasting my time. You're, you're, you're saying all of this crap. You're, you're talking and you're talking and you're talking and you're blaming me for ghosting you when you were the one. You're the one who keeps on disappearing then randomly appearing with new accounts. And that what? Like, I can't not respond to your message for a few hours and then you can be gone for like over a week? Like, are you serious, guy? Or really? I told him I wonder if we'd ever meet or if this is just you just wasting my time and just with your, all of your sick fantasies and things you want to do to me. It's ridiculous. Nope, we could meet. And yes, last time we were talking about rides and you stopped talking. You message, then you disappear for hours. And I don't check this app except for when I'm on it. I don't really want to get off. I want to get you off. Oh, so for a couple of hours is ghosting. <laughs> ridiculous this guy i hate that i can't imagine talking to predators every second of every day you know and not just this guy but all the other ones i can't do that it's impossible you know this guy just had all the time in the world i guess he had all the time in the world to do this it was so weird get a life for real may i see some pics on you said a while ago you would send some do you want to hang out show me something to prove you're serious about this and that you want it yeah like nude pictures again that he asked before Oh, prove you're serious and send me pictures of yourself nude. I don't need to send anything to you, guy. I am not saying we will have sex, but I am curious how your young, tight little pussy tastes. He said this just a while ago. And how you would feel with me inside you. I am also curious if I can make you come or how many times. And most of all, I am curious if you really want to meet, maybe have sex, or if you're all talk and won't ever touch my dick because you're scared. That, well, that's, that's something I would say. He's, he's just trying to play games. See, where did you go? And that was just like a minutes later. This is just because it was, this was a Saturday, April 17th. Minutes later. I don't reply. It's a, it's a Saturday, dude. I was at the drive-thru at McDonald's trying to, trying to get some food before going to my, my brother's house. I was busy with pussy myself that day. About to go to my brother's house to metal detect with Lex and Cinnabon. And so I remember I was just before arriving there, I was just at the McDonald's drive-thru and it just took forever. And so I was on my phone reading all this crap and I'm like, dude, leave me alone. Just a few minutes and he whines and cries. See, where did you go? Just leave me alone. Oh no, we have a big one here. And I don't want to stroke my cock unless you tell me to. Then I will and come looking at your beautiful face, okay? But if you're really serious, I would rather get hard and my cock full of cum throbbing from you sliding your mouth and tongue on it and showing me how good you can suck me. I want to see you swallow my first load of cum for you and before I put it inside you. Because if we have sex, I am not wearing a condom. Thanks for asking. I want to feel all of your young tight pussy and be able to come in you. I want you to get me off. At this point, I am generally really angry. I am so angry. I'm just at the drive-thru at McDonald's, right? I had talked to him for a few hours before this, a few hours before he sent the huge string of all these texts, all these paragraphs. I said, for a couple hours? You disappear for weeks and it's Saturday. I'm busy, I have things to do, I can't talk 24 seven. Especially when you keep fooling around and just totally abandoning me. I don't wanna waste my time. When you always do that, it's pointless. I was very explicit in my displeasure and my annoyance with him. No, it's not. Just let me get my McDonald's and just you shut up. Let me get my McDonald's. Let me go to my brother's house, right? Let me actually play with real pussy. <laughs> I love it that my brother has a cat so I can throw in all these pussy jokes. All right. I need to know you're serious and real too. I am scared of getting in trouble, but at the same time, we can at least get some ice cream or something. <laughs> That's the only cream you'd be getting, guy. <laughs> That's screwed up, sorry. And I don't know your schedule or what you're busy with, so I could plan when to be on. Oh no. Can you believe how needy this is? He wants to figure out my schedule so that he'll know, he, because he just wants to talk and talk and talk and talk. talk. I can't imagine if I, if I hadn't anything else to do 
if I was on my phone 24 seven, he would have used up all of the time. He, this guy doesn't have a, I can guarantee you doesn't have a job, uh, doesn't have anything going on. Um, instead of being a good person and actually doing something or finding something useful to his, with his time other than trying to have sex with a kid, maybe he could fulfill what he wants to be and be better in life. But instead, you're screwing up, guy. What are you doing? This this thing, this chat, guaranteed, could have gone 10 times longer, at least 100 times possibly, if I were to just every minute of every day or every hour of every day check my messages and reply to him he would have just taken it you he would just it would have been insane it would have been like a 10 hour long video at least um but dang i have crap to do i have other predators to talk to it's just overwhelming sometimes it's just nuts <laughs> Ew, sorry and then he gets kind of he gets kind of um he gets kind of uh angry with me um, because I'm I'm barking back at him. I'm like, dude, screw you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want you or I to waste time. When will you not be busy today? We could meet up later. Oh, it's so annoying with predators. They always say that. Oh, I'm scared of me. I'm scared of me. Hey, let's meet up later. Oh, I'm scared of me. I'm scared of me. Oh, let's meet up later. I want to have sex with you. Oh no. oh, no. Let's just watch a movie. Oh, no. Let me just screw you. It's so ridiculous. I hate this. I mean, I like it. But this guy. Every predator is different. But sometimes they're very similar but this guy just took it to the extreme of being needy <laughs> and so i get angry i i get angry with them and i'm generally angry i'm i'm annoyed you know i, I say every time you talk about meeting up you just disappear or then you just say what you want to do while meeting up but you never actually follow through you just continue talking and talking and talking and talking it's just ridiculous i got very aggressive with them stop i am trying to see you today would you like that no, I'm busy. And I don't trust you, I told him. I told him that. I don't trust you. Trust no one. You can get this at anxietywar.com. $2.50 free shipping anywhere in the world. I do not want to waste your time. I want to see you. Why? Because I am scared and never met anyone off here. I am cautious. Oh, this is perfect. Be cautious, Mr. Crowley. I am cautious. He's being cautious. Huh? Isn't that right, Mr. Hey, let's get Mr. Crowley over here, shall we? And spice it up a little bit. Hey, Mr. Kelly? What was that? That's that's nice, Mr. Crowley. Keep that to yourself next time. <laughs> All right. Okay. I told him you always say that, and it's just BS. Stop. So you're busy all night. I could get an Uber over here. Please stop. <laughs> I never meant to upset you or waste your time. I have wanted to see you from the moment you mentioned it. <laughs> you mentioned it, guy. And I am not just saying BS. If you want to come over, I just want a heads up. Oh, you get a heads up, all right. You get you get a heads up. You, you've shown me this many of times, and you've, you've said this multiple times. You get a heads up when you look at my pictures. You get a heads up when you think about what we know. So I can pick you up. Have food or munchies you, you want. Clean sheets in case you want to use the bed. I like how he specified clean sheets. <laughs> I can't imagine what his sheets look like. Oh, ho, ho. but I do want to see you always. Always, but I do want to see you always. Have if you, you know what I have to do. I read it wrong because there's lack of punctuation and apostrophes and all all of those other good things. You know to make something flow to where I read it wrong and then I have to re say it. And then so and then when I edit this video, I'm just gonna have to delete the part where. The, it didn't flow right because you can't compose proper English when you've been living in America for 36 years and this is your first and only language. Get with the program. Right, Mr. Crowley? No, no, no. Uh, so let me try this again. But I do want to see you always have if you will let me get an Uber for you then then we're good. Alright. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> we don't have to have sex or touch, just hang out, watch a movie. He just said that, like, maybe have a fire outside if you give me enough notice. So spend the night tonight. I can sleep on the couch if that will make you happy. Make my fantasies come true. Oh, he went on. Uh, at this point, I totally ditched him. At this point, I'm just digging up old tires in the ground. Yeah, that's a tire. <laughs> if you spend the night, we can do whatever you want. 
If you want me to choke you all night, I will. <laughs> no, I'm going to be the one choking you, and you can guarantee it will not be sexual. <laughs> I do want you bad, beautiful. I have since first we talked. Since we first talked. Oops, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> it would be torture not to have sex with you. I want to see your skills, plus I really want to make you scream, moan, and come. I want you to love having sex with me so you keep coming back for more. You just talking about watching a movie. <laughs> this guy is cyclic. Wow, cyclic as S-I-C-K instead of S-Y-C-L-I-K. C, C, I can spell. <laughs> Please don't give up. I really want... I really want this, you. I know you want this older cock in you and to be treated like a queen while you're here. Queen? I'm not that old. You mean princess. I am sorry you're so upset with me. <laughs> Still didn't reply to him at this point. It's 5.56 p.m. Okay, I won't bother you anymore. Sorry I pissed you off. And yes, I do stroke my cock thinking of you and looking at your pic. Dude, <laughs> we know. We know. I think you're sexy from what I can see and I want to kiss your beautiful lips. Well, getting off to the thought of you works so well because I thought about when we met and how great you would be. I get that from a lot of predators where they just fantasize about meeting up and they talk about it all the time just to get off, you know, and whether or not they would meet up, you know, really when it came down to it, sometimes people wouldn't, you know, granted, still a crime, still a huge crime, especially when you um, involve sending nude pictures or asking for nude pictures and all of that. Um, illegal, cr criminal, felonious activity, um, but th no, this, this, guy, this guy would, he, he would eventually, uh, yeah. You would have been the youngest girl I was with, we know, and the last, and I wanted to have fun with you. Come spend the night and you can female dog and yell at me or try to, <laughs> or try to as I'm choking you and making you moan. Okay, hon, I won't text anymore, please, thank you. I wish you would change your mind. Stephen Crowder, no! Predators can't be helped, change my mind, no. And let me have all of you. I want to see your skills and let you feel this older cock in you. It's like a broken record. I'm going to stroke my cock for you one last time too, wishing it was you. Bye, hon, and I am sorry. Oh, how romantic. Wow, how romantic. Mr. Crowley, what do you say about that? Okay, okay. <laughs> one second. <laughs> You're funny, Mr. Crowley. I finally replied that night, evening, 7.45. I said, you can't expect me after tonight to be down for this. After all this BS. Are you for real? I said, you want instant gratification and you rush everything and it just doesn't work like that, guy. Stop living in Fantasyville. Remember, that was April 17th. He ignored me all the way until April 29th. Hey. So he chews me out for not replying to him after two hours and then... He's gone for weeks, and like he expects everything to be oh, what's ridiculous. I said hi, how have you been? Been choked lately? Kiss face. Anytime I stroke my cock, I still look at your pic and think of you. But I know you don't want it. Said I'm really busy this weekend. I'm sorry. I think I am helping my brother Rufus' house, and reside it as well. Oh, reside it as well. Sorry. Lol. So you'd like that I play with this dick for you? Oh. Stop. God, I wish I could feel your mouth and pussy on it. I want to either fill your pussy full of my warm cum or pull out and come all over it and tell you to rub it in your pussy. If I'm getting hard thinking about that and I have to go outside and do yard work. All I want to do is be deep inside you right now. Sorry you're gonna be busy. Oh, so he's got a job, maybe he's got a little job. Great, that's terrific. Maybe you'll now shut up a little bit more. I said I have one more month of school. Then what? Effing me all summer? Having me be your life-size sex toy? Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't reply to him. The next day, April 30th. I think after I grill, I'm gonna think about you and how much I can't wait to have my tongue inside you and taste your yummy pussy. Didn't reply to him. May 1st. Would you ever let me F you somewhere in public where people could see or watch? Wow. You know what? He sent so many messages all in a row that I just... I really don't remember reading that. That's screwed up. And it's like, because I would just kind of skim over it, you know? I wasn't going to read all that crap. <laughs> what the heck? <gasps> Dang, dude. That's so messed up. And uh, on May 1st as well, 
Also, when you come over, you should spend the night. We will have a little fire in the backyard. And when it's dark out, I'm gonna suck on your pussy by fire. Then F you, their fire going under the stars until you fuel come in you? What? I am going to try to keep your pussy filled and dripping with my cum while you're, you're, Pasifiari, with me. And you are definitely for sure getting choked and effed. I can only stroke my dick to your pick so many times before I need the real thing. And I have been waiting a while to see you. I want all of you over and over. I want you to feel and see how horny and hard you make me, sweetheart. Hope you had a good night. Okay. May 2nd. What school do you go to? Dude, you asked me that like months ago. <laughs> and remember, that's like after he said that, he just disappeared for a bit and then used a different account. So was he going to do it this time? No, this would be his last account that he would use. Uh, I replied later that day, telling him stuff I've already told him. I want you turned on. I already came looking at your pic this morning. I can't wait to give you this dick. Are there any toys you want to try? I could buy them so I can use them here together. Yes, in fact. Give me this bad boy. Bolt action. Scoped sniper rifle. And I tell you what I want to do. I want to try this on you. Or my ex-girlfriend Skelly. Ha! <laughs> Boom! Headshot! I was already dead, you idiot. Go shoot yourself. Oh. Ow. It actually <laughs> ricocheted and went back in the chamber. That's weird. It went. It hit my chin and went right back down. You suck. Treat me like that. Gotcha. <laughs> Enough of these games. <laughs> uh, he went on to say, all in a row, as always, I think it's hot and sexy what an older guy effing you. Just like it turns me on thinking about effing a young gorgeous woman and having her tight, her young tight pussy wrapped around my hard cock. I hope we hit it off in person, like online. I would love to do and try all sorts of stuff with you. I want to make you daddy's little naughty little slut. <sighs> Maybe take my little girl shopping for lingerie and F her in the changing room. Wow! Exactly what that guy wanted to do in Target. Remember him? In the video, frantic online predator runs in circles after getting caught. Totally ran out of Target. Oh, he met me instead of a 13-year-old girl to fool around in the dressing room. Chase them out of Target. Get out of here, boy. Flashbacks from that. Or go for a walk in the park. Find a picnic table. Wow. Just like the Santa Claus predator. <laughs> or the other guy. Acting as a 13-year-old boy in real life to bust a predator. So weird. Full circle. Uh, anyway, um, talking about the picnic table in a park. Find a picnic table and lay you on it and give you this older hard cock and your young tight pussy is full of my cum and it drips down your leg as we walk home. So descriptive. I would love to F and experience you everywhere. Shower together if you will let me take pics and videos of us. Wow, he says that again. And watch them together. I want to make your pussy squirt all over me. Yo, isn't that nuts that he just says that like nothing? It's crazy. You are my fantasy, baby. And I want you to know this dick is yours whenever you want it. I am hoping you want a lot that you spend the night just so you can F me all night. I can't wait to feel you sucking on my dick and swallowing all my cum. I want to taste your young tight pussy so bad. Feed me your pussy, baby. No! So you make me horny as F for you. You're not teasing me, are you? You really want me? An older guy effing you? And I didn't even reply to any of this. He continues talking, as always. Will you let me come inside you? Yeah, thanks for asking this time. There's something living up here like a rat or something I need to address that where's that dart gun no no animal cruelty no ah! isn't that right mr. Crowley huh no we don't harm animals ex-girlfriends are okay if she's already dead this will get we never boned that's that's the lie don't believe her <laughs> that's the real reason why I've been so dry yeah very funny Skelly. I don't want to wear a condom F and you I want to feel all of you completely and I will go broke buying them. If if you see, he doesn't. He I knew I knew he was struggling. If you let me have you as much as I hope. Oh, he goes on to say. So can I see another pic? I know your face is gorgeous, but what's the rest of your body like? 
Big boobs, small boobs? Do you like them sucked on? Or, or pussy? Is it shaved or hairy? I mean, you have several pics of my cock, baby girl. <laughs> How dumb trying to use that as leverage. <laughs> oh, you have many pics of my cock that I randomly sent you without you ever asking for them. So therefore, you need to send me pictures of your boobs and the donkey. And this. I want to see you. And don't worry, no matter what, I will love it. You're still getting choked effed in public. That's so messed up. And so on. This is probably one of the worst predators, dude. Seriously. Dang. I have played with my dick so many times for you. You make me a dirty old man, gating hard for you, and wanting to to F your tight young teen pussy over and over. I really hope you're horny little girl, cause once you F this mature cock, not sure I'll be able to stop. You might have to F me at least one time a day. I have two 18 to 20 year old girls that live next door. To start us Fing in public, I will F you between the houses, so if they look out, they will see you taking this dick and getting F deep in heart. That is one of the most perverted things ever, guy. <laughs> what the heck? I said, what, you think like the neighbors would find that hot and like join in? Would you be with a girl? They are different. I cook for them every so often or give them a beer. They are nice, just quiet, stay inside and so on. They are nowhere near as beautiful as you. I think they could look better than they do, but their style isn't mine. And as far as sex goes, I will try to make as many of your sexual fantasies come. These aren't my fantasies, they're your fantasies. Come true or do whatever turns you on. As long as you keep me hard and your pussy stays wet for me, you can touch, kiss, suck, F, whatever you want, whenever you want. And F, yes, we are making a video. I need more to look at than just your profile pics when you're not here. And I, I want and need, to, I want and need to deep inside you. Sometimes I come three to four times a day looking at your pic. Wow. That's why I ask for more pics, please. Dude, find something else to do. Seriously. Hey, he goes on to say... In all caps, you seriously will do all that stuff? I, I didn't say I would. I am kind of thinking you're teasing me and never plan on even effing me. That's so screwed up, dude. What are you even saying? There were no girls your age that sexual growing up. Shiza, some 30 to 40 year old women won't even do some of that stuff. God, where were you when I was 15? Don't answer that. I graduated high school, was in the army living in Hawaii before you were born. Dang, that makes me feel old. LMAO, too bad on a good day I act like a mature 18 year old. Semi adultish. Most times I pass barely as acting 12. We know. Not really, but no, no, no. You know you act 12. But I don't feel old mentally. Maybe that's why I want, want your young, t tight teen pussy. And not to mention all the porn I watch about stepdad F and stepdaughter. I would totally be perving on you if I was your stepdad. Ugh, Fantasyville. I would try to set it up. So you walked in on me jerking off looking at your pics. This guy's in La Laville. I think you're too good and sexy to be real. And by the way, I prefer small boobs. But I will take big or small as long as I can still touch, lick, suck, or F. I have to get my Jeep running so you can suck on my cock as I drive you around in a Jeep with no top. And then he sends a video of himself having sex with some girl. I, I think that could be him. I'm guessing he has a hairy gut, um, and uh, yeah, it's probably him. He just unsolicitedly just just sends a video of him having sex with some larger chick. Uh, he goes on to say, May 4th, I had not replied to him still, of course not. Just dozens and dozens and dozens of messages all in a row. So what are your plans when school is out and you have all day free? I hope you plan on spending a lot of time naked and letting taste you you pussy as we make another video. You can count on me on making the videos, guy. I'm the guy making the videos. I'm the guy shooting your local predator. And that's you. I make the videos here, okay? That's my job. That's right. Shoot your local predator. Baby, do you like going down on a guy? All I can picture is your lips wrapped around my hard dick as I drive. These guys drive me crazy. I really want to see you play with yourself, and I watch you, and you watch me stroking my dick to you. God, I want, <laughs> I want to get you naked. <laughs> I replied. I said, uh, "Like, who is that girl that you just sent in the video? Is, is, and is that you?" Calm down with the messages. LOL. Honestly, I don't expect you to jeep up. <laughs> He's thinking about his broken jeep still. 
just like texting, I am a lot quicker than most people, even when handed. I I got I've, I've gotten that before with predators. Oh, sorry for talking too much. It's not my fault. I happen to type fast. Yes, that's me and the girl I talked to a while back before she went all crazy. <laughs> Yo, never stick your dick in crazy guy. Or in underage girls. What are you doing? And about girls your age, I know nothing about them. You will be the only girl that age I will be with. There is a 21-year-old that has wanted to F me for a while. But to tell you the truth, if you're that sexual, my dick won't have time to be effing all sorts of girls. My dick will be too busy being deep inside of you and thinking of new ways of dicking you down. Wow. Interesting choice of words. If I am going to F a young woman, j j should be j t whatever should be the one I really want and who you come f f several times a day. Now I Joseph, I don't know, want it, yum, brands, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, A&W. Um, to be me filling you with my warm cum several times. Sorry for some of the bad texts. I didn't sleep last night and I was re-roofing my brother's roof today, so I am very tired. I would really love it right now if you told me to lay down and you set your pussy on my face and told me to relax and eat your pussy. I want you to be daddy's naughty little... I want you to be daddy's naughty, dirty, gorgeous slut, baby. <laughs> Do you think you can handle that? And just so you know, every time we talk, my ghost... My ghost... My something goes to my dick and I stroke it. We know. Hun, I am blunt and probably too honest. I hate games and lies. You will always know where you stand with me. And right now, you make me a dirty old man. That should be F and her mom, not her daughter, but F that. I want the younger 2.0 version. If being a dirty old man gets me you, F yes, I am dirty. I want to have my hard dick in you so much that when I don't feel lost, that when I don't, you feel lost. LMAO is thar enough messages. Yes! Okay, I have to get some SHIT. I asked, yeah, you're so naughty. How did the roofing go? Roofing sucks. It went fine. My father showed up, who I did not talk to, so that was uncomfortable, and my brother and his girl kept apologizing. I wonder why your dad doesn't talk to you anymore. So when are you going to let me taste your tight little pussy? When school is out? How come your sexy donkey doesn't have a boyfriend? Send me a pic, hon. Man, I wonder, uh, I wonder if this Predator video will hit two hours. Dang, what the heck? <laughs> I asked him why he doesn't talk to his dad anymore, but he completely ignored that because he seems to talk nothing about nothing else except for roofing his brother's house and having sex with me, taking video of me, and that he wants my tight little teen pussy, which is whatever, just it's ridiculous. And he just ignored that. What are you up to? Tell me some of your sexual fantasies. Do you drink or smoke? You're talking to who you think to be a 15 year old guy, really? And sorry about the pick, but you can't blame a guy for wanting other picks to come too. Or two, come to. You use the wrong form of two. But he sent a picture of his, um, I think his penis and some girl's vagina or something like that. It's pretty nasty. Um, that, just because it's, it's, it's sick, dude. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so gross. It's so graphic. He keeps on sending these pictures and video of this crap. You want to pick like that of when I first slide my hard cock in your tight pussy? This guy really was because he's videoed himself and has taken pictures of himself having sex with other people that I believed him when, when he said that he wanted to video like video record like me with him. And so he, I believe he really would do that. Um, pretty insane guy, like really, really screwed up. I said, no, I don't drink or smoke. Um, and he, he, sure, you can take pictures of anything you want, <laughs> just to see where he would go with that. And later, like right before meeting, he would, he, he would mention that again. But this is still in May. This is May 8th. I, I um, met up with him in June, so we, we have a ways to go yet. Uh, so hang in there. What you up to? I didn't reply, May 9th. But I don't want you to be a good girl. I never said anything. And he says, but I don't want you to be a good girl. I want you to be daddy's dirty little slut. I want to give you all the hard cock you can take. effing you every way you can think of and imagine. I want to see your tight, sweet pussy full of my cum and you wanting more. It's getting dark outside, really? Dang, dude. <laughs> I want to fall asleep with my dick inside you and wake up putting it back inside you. Well, wouldn't it still be in then? 
right? Ooh, listen to this. I will set cameras up to record a video of every time we F in bed, but I want to F you everywhere we go. Heaven, you suck my cock as I drive. Do you think you can handle this? Okay, guys, this is, this is, yeah, this is a really bad predator. I've never, I've had that before where, where predators say that they want to have a video camera to film uh, the sexual encounter, but this guy just took it to the next level and just uh, about <laughs> screwing in public and man, it, it just uh, all sorts of things. This guy is among the most perverted, definitely. You really, like, it's very rare to get for me to deal with people worse than this, but it does happen every now and then. I'll, I'll hear something that's just, wow. But this is really screwed up. Do you think you can handle getting effed that much? Do you think about this older hard cock in you, sexy? I want to tie you to the bed and blindfold you and butt chocolate, chocolate strawberry syrup and whipped cream on my dick. Oh, and put chocolate strawberry syrup and whipped cream on my dick and have you suck and lick it off and I will put some on your pussy and eat it out of you. It's so screwed up because I think of how um, obsessed these people are with the idea of sex, let alone with a uh, an underage girl, and just throw in the, the underage girl on top of it for them to be so, so consumed by this. It's one thing to just think it, but actually going out there, out of your way, going in the teen chat room, hitting up someone who you then find out is a 15 year old, you still send her nude pictures of, of yourself in, in video, and you ask for news and you keep on asking for more news and you you want to have sex and you, you say that you, you're going to record all of these things is just mind-boggling to me that someone would do this but yet every month i like i talk to different people and it's just so many people that i've been talking to for years sometimes and the guy that I confronted yesterday i've been talking to him for a year and a half it's just nuts all these nuts all of these no chocolate syrup whatever um uh, well, listen to this wow we're not using a condom i want my cum in you you mentioned getting the neighbors involved do you like girls too bye after we have been effing for a while do you have a girlfriend you want to join or that you think would like some older cock too who wants a threesome with two little girls i wish i could pick you up for lunch and drop you off back smiling and full of my warm sticky cum then boom he sends a video of himself masturbating. It's disgusting at two in the morning, May 9th. <sighs> it's unreal. It's crazy. This is all nuts. This is all crazy. May 10th, I replied finally. I said, no, I'm not bisexual, but I, I did say that I, I love your wood. And I, I meant the hardwood flooring uh, in the background of uh, where he was masturbating, not uh, is Mr. Beefy there? I want to give it to you all night long. I can't wait for you to touch me, blow me, F me. I like looking at your mouth, thinking about my dick in it. And I don't care if you're bi, straight, whatever, as long as you're naked and effing me, letting me cream pie you over and over. And then he sends me a picture of this stuff. Wow. Video cameras. There's a bunch of them. For the bedroom when you come over. So that's crazy, dude. Wow. So there you go. Every time you come over, we can keep making more videos wow you ready to be my dirty little porn star after we can watch it while we are having sex again wow effing you is gonna make me feel so dirty because of age but at the same time uh so effing hot and horny i really want to spend a lot of time tasting you licking and sucking on your pussy i am glad you like my wood but when you're here this cock is yours <laughs> i bet the hardwood flooring you can touch, suck, F it, whenever you want. Speaking of my cock, I guess this is as good as a time as any to take it out and stroke it while looking and, th and thinking of you. Do you like that I stroke my dick just for yoy till I shoot a nice big load winding my cum in your young tight pussy? I hope you like sex and getting effed. Why did he type it like that? My goal is to make you want more and to make you cum. I hope you're planning on staying the night. There is just too many ways I need to F you and things to do to you. But if you are having fun, then keep staying over. I said I would perform good for the camera. Uh, you know, have water at, at my disposal here. You know, trying to stay hydrated, trying to keep my voice from cracking. And um, uh, what else did I say? Um, that um, I just tell my moms that I'm sleeping at a friend's house. You know, if we did actually meet. 
um, which I really didn't have a lot of hopes for because this guy would just, uh, that's the thing you don't really know. You know, if they're just wasting your time or not and just continue talking, they can talk forever, you know, forever, some guy's ears. Um, but you just never know, you know, so of course I continued talking to him even though I had to deal with all these overwhelming messages and over and over and over and over again that I always come back to. It's nuts. I can just stop doing that. I can move the camera so we can record AAQW. Ooh, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Different angles, I guess. I don't know. As we shower together and I have you up on the shower wall all soapy. You looking forward to having this hard dick sliding deep inside you? I can't wait to taste you and feel your tight little pussy wrapped around me. Ugh, sorry. This is making me disgusted here. What should I think of as I look at your pick and stroke my cock? I said think of whatever you want. Use your imagination. Imagination. I want to eat your tight little pussy so bad. I want my tongue in you. Okay, you said that like 10 times already. Do you play with your pussy and look at my cock <laughs> or pig? <laughs> no. I masturbate, thinking of you a lot. It's so disgusting. He misspelled masturbate. <laughs> I want to eat your pussy till you're so wet, your sweet juices are running down my face. I can't wait to rub the head of my cock on your clit. God, I want to F you. He wants to have sex with God, okay. Speaking of masturbating, I might as well right now, looking at your beautiful face, wanting your lips wrapped around my dick, sucking me till you're swallowing my cum. Uh, I want to watch you masturbate. Seeing you playing with yourself would be hot. If I buy something like this, would you let me use it on you? And then he sends a picture of a vibrator with a very dramatic uh, backdrop. But then he sends another picture of a woman on a table with, um, like, strapped to a table. Are you on birth control? Because I really want to fill your tight little pussy. Or why does he always is descriptive about that about my pussy it's never pussy it's always like tight little pussy or young little hot sexy pussy over and over with my cum all night long i think you with your i, I think of you with your legs spread or on all fours and my cum dripping out of you would be so hot <gasps> how tall are you i'm glad you like the idea of playing like that i have always wanted to try a sex swing maybe if you really like my dick in you and you want to plan another sleepover, I would buy one. I had never heard of this. I do like, I like tire swings. Um, I hope you know, you're going, you're, you're going to get this dick a lot. Your pussy might be sore when you leave. How do you not have a boyfriend? All these questions, all these messages, all in a row. I finally replied. Yes, I am on birth control. Good, I am glad you're on it, but I was planning on coming in you over and over again regardless. Wow. Your pussy needs it, and I want to keep effing your young, yummy pussy pushing my cum deeper and deeper inside you. I love how beautiful you are, but I always love how sexual and naughty you are more. I'm really not. <laughs> What's the oldest guy you've been with? And why are you never on long? He asked on May 24th. I replied the next day, May 25th. I said I've just been busy with school. And then he ignores me again. Remember, he would give me crap all the time for it. Not replying to him after a few hours, he sends his last message. He would get so pissed off. Um, but uh, I, May 25th, I, I sent, I, re I reply to him, and he didn't reply until June 10th. So two weeks, a good two weeks. And I didn't complain. I didn't complain. I was dealing with other people. Really? So now what are your big plans? You still planning on sucking on this older cock and getting tied to the bed and feeling my hard dick deep inside you and letting me feel that tight, sweet, young pussy with my warm cum? I hope you have been playing with your pussy a lot. I said welcome back. A little bit. I love Cinnabon. <laughs> Glad to hear it, lol. Probably need something hard in it though. I said yeah, who knows when that will be. Yeah, why is that now? I wish you were sucking on my dick right now. I thought you would have time all summer. He went on to say the next day, June 11th, 9.49 in the morning, which was the day of the meetup. We talked a lot that day. You don't think I will have you over anytime soon? Then he asked me where exactly I lived in the city. God, I wish you would show me a pic of you playing with your pussy, or F, just a pic of your pussy. That would motivate me a lot. I said you just talk, 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 talk. I would say he talks my ear off, but I don't have any ears. I said, no, I'm not going to send you nude pictures. I'm not going to do that. I am nervous. I could go to prison over being with you. Not something I want or to be labeled a sex offender for the rest of my life. I have enough 
crap I am trying to fix and get back where I was. Then stop talking to me, remember? <gasps> so nuts. This guy has said this so many times. Cyclic. I own my own duplex at 22 and had three new vehicles. That makes you successful just having three new cars? Okay. All you need is one, baby. All you need is one. Now, because of a crappy relationship, I am renting. And I have two... That, <laughs> what, what's wrong with renting? And I have two vehicles that are older and need to be fixed. What is wrong with older vehicles? Try a 1993 Oldsmobile guy. I am trying to get a house and possibly start a business and buy land. Not get in trouble. Oh, business of what? Predator mill? Child sex trafficking? You mean the child porn dark web crap? Terrible. I have never been with anyone your age or ever thought about it. But we talked and God, if you don't make me hard as F and want to feel that little tight young pussy wrapped around my hard cock and he says the same thing over and over again and F you every way you can imagine and then some. You have to understand I don't want to lose everything. The youngest girl I have been with is probably 25. Oh, I thought he said he was younger. Okay. You don't have to be about pics. But one here or there doesn't hurt. And I would know you're real, not trying to catch a weirdo. That's me. <laughs> the person trying to catch the weirdo, not the actual weirdo. Just making that clear. <laughs> I want to meet. Yes, we have talked a long time. I want to see you and see if you're as naughty as you say, but not to get arrested. And then he asked me, same old question of where exactly I lived in the city. You wanted to know. I, and I, I told him the area, and he's like, no, where specifically do you live? And I'm like, dude, you want to know my address? I said, uh-uh, I'm not giving that out. Dang, woman. No, but if I was picking you up, I would, huh? I said, no, all you do is talk, and you say that, oh, it's so dangerous, I could get in trouble, oh, but I want to have sex with you, and then you just keep on doing that over and over again, like a broken record. And that, look, I'm, I'm done talking with you, it's just annoying, I'm like, just stop. You know, stop. And he wanted, I could tell that things were going down that day um, because he was really getting impatient. Um, he really wanted to have sex with me that day. I said, no thanks. Why not? I said, no, you just, you just waste my time. All you do is talk. I can't pick you up. I have two cars I am working on, but I will pay for an Uber right now. And then I can't back out. They have my address to take you to. But you won't do that, will you? Even though everyone does it? I said, so you're having a random person. So you're going to call the Uber for me. So a random person is going to come to my place, pick me up, and just who knows what happens. Like, who knows who even the person is, if they're an actual Uber driver. If I'm not the one doing that, like, you're doing that. You're like, dude, are you serious? I said, this is getting creepy, guy. This is getting too creepy. LOL, you're ridiculous. Bye. This is stupid. Yeah, um, yeah, would have a random friend pick you up. No, sorry. You find the dumbest crap to female dog about or worry about, but if anyone found out about you, it would be jail time. And you tell me I am retarded for worrying about that when it happens all the time. I know, you should check out the Anxiety War channel on YouTube. <laughs> it does happen all the time. This was the 25th predator I've confronted. It happens a lot. You could have my address and call an Uber. And, or I called paid but gave them your number. They send you messages and updates so you know it's legit. We take them to concerts and bars all the time. But whatever, and I am glad you can meet guys all the time, but they are not me, and I, and I can do the same. I said you'd never give me your address, you're paranoid. Sure I would. I said no, it's just all talk. You wanna come over? I will give you my address. And remember, he had just told me bye, so I, I know his games, I, I know what he's doing. I'm trying to have you come over. If you want a female dog at me, come here and do it. So how am I all talk? I am trying. You are not. I said, no, you, you haven't given me your address. Are you coming over? If you're not, then I'm not giving it to you. I said, cut all of the BS. Just cut all of the BS. I said, I'm not coming over to someone who's super weird, super sketched out all the time. All you do is play games. What time do you want me over? I am just trying to think of a time. I said, send me a picture of yourself right now. Do it. Okay, stop the attitude. Neither of us needs it. I already have a headache. Boom. He sends a picture of himself. Notice the hat. Remember the hat. Sorry, I need a shave. Wasn't planning on seeing anyone. And I have a headache and haven't slept. What time works for you? Are you staying the night? I said, you want me to? After all this, yes. I said, okay. Oh, yeah. 
We might as well make the most of it. I need a haircut. You know how to cut hair, right? Not the best at it. Well, I will just spank you if you, if you do a bad job. <laughs> of course he would say that. I said, just give me the address and time and I can make it work. Good, we need to figure out the cameras too. <laughs> and my, my first reaction was like surveillance camera somewhere that he was afraid of, um, of being caught. But uh, he, he, I said, huh? And he said, remember you wanted cameras? And I thought, I didn't, like that was you. Um, I said we could just use our phones, right? They have cameras on them. But remember, he wanted a whole setup of what he sent earlier with, with all those cameras. Dumb. Or both. Then he gives me his address. He gave me his address. I said, yeah, it's a little far, but not too bad. He told me where he lived before. Um, when I first started talking with him, he was living in a different area. He went on to explain that he moved because broke up with my ex and moved out. It was her house. I sold my duplex in East Town when I moved in with her. We were off and on for almost seven years. I knew it wouldn't work, but whatever. I will tell you whatever you want in person. I said, well, dang, East Town is nice. I just want to know what time you're thinking. I will need to run to Walmart slash Meyer to get stuff for you to eat also. So what do you want or what do you eat? And I want to toss the sheets in the wash. Please do. Please. Please wash those sheets. I can't, can't even imagine what's then actually I can. Disgusting. I said maybe later tonight we can make something work or this evening. And I will have to do a little work here. I have like 120 brats I need a vacuum seal. <laughs> this guy just loves wieners. Okay, what do you want to eat? Ice cream? Stuff for s'mores or pies over the fire? S'more? S'mores? Dude, come on, that's not how you spell it. Then he sent a picture of everything, all the food items that he had. Yeah, and ice cream for dessert, I, I asked. Yeah. Okay, what kind? I have Coke, Mountain Dew, root beer, and Sprite to drink. I said, what? Well, I didn't talk about Pop. Uh, you want pancakes for breakfast? Breakfast, meaning I would spend the night over there. Okay. And yes, I can cook, but I don't do a ton anymore. Sucks making a nice meal for just me. And I was so busy that day. I was busy editing the Predator biker video. <laughs> I, I just, I woke up that day thinking, you know what? I'm just going to edit this video all day. You know, I'm just going to get this out of the way. But then this pops up, you know, because I talk to predators while working, doing, you know, just other things and uh, related to, to anxiety war. Um, and um, it just this popped up and I'm like, OK, well, I'll cross off that for, for today. You know, editing the video, I thought, OK, now I'm consumed. You know, I'm, I'm past the point of no return here. Um, we will meet today. I thought uh, this, this will work. Or maybe, I don't know. But at least I, you know, I need to dedicate all my time now, everything to this right now. I said, we can figure out what to eat later, you know, if I'm already there. So in, in my head, I was thinking, crap, because if he's in a house, how do I go there? How do I confront him? How do I, you know, like, is he going to answer the, the door, you know? You know, and then you have the legal issues of, you know, I, I can't like film on private property like that. I would have to be in public. So from a sidewalk, that's public. Um, I, th I thought of so many things of how this is going to work. You know, I wanted him to get out of his house, but he ended up doing the easy work for me because uh, he said, uh, as, as far as I, when I said we, we can figure out all this later, like what to eat, he says, no, we can't. Unless you want to walk a mile to the store, I will ride a bike and load a hiking backpack. But we can if you don't mind walking. I don't mind the bike ride, keeps my legs in shape. Ooh, so then I learned he's going to be on a bicycle. I got excited. I love bicycles. I made a living buying, fixing up, and selling old bicycles that people threw away, including many Schwinn Predators. Oh yes, I've been dealing with Predators for years. <laughs> I love dealing with Predators. Isn't that cool, that, that Nerf gun? It says Predator right on it. Man, I went to Meyer. Meyer is, is um, it's, it's a store. It's a big supermarket chain here, but they also sell um, non-food items. It's like Walmart, but in the Midwest. I saw this, and when it said Predator on it, I'm like, it's got my name written all over it. Or it's got his name written all over it, because I'm not a Predator, so I screwed that up. But, you know, <laughs> sweet. I missed that purpose. Don't want to shoot that camera. Oh, yeah, sharpshooter. All right. I said, that's cool. I love riding my bike. Yes, no, yes. Forget Uber. Too bad you couldn't bring it here. My bicycle. Then he talked about maybe riding his bike over where I live, which is oh, a little little ways for a bicycle. Yeah, I could do it, but in this heat, it would suck. And I would be wetter than I want 
to, to make you and, and smell like sweat. Do you like spicy stuff or steak? A1 steak sauce. I love it. I told him. I used to put A1 on my bagels as a kid until my parents uh, female dogged that it cost too much. And he complimented me about how pretty I am. I told him you're so sweet. And if having a good time, you could always stay another night. I said for sure, now that I know you're not as weird as I thought you were. Which I lied. I think he's, this guy's so weird. I am just worried is all. I have never met anyone off there. Never had to. I can tell you my life story later, but I better finish dishes and start laundry and hit the store. I apologize ahead of time. My head is pounding and I didn't sleep. Your head is the only thing that's going to be pounding tonight. And no, I'm not talking about your smallest one. And you will be the first girl here and in the bed. All I am thinking about now is how not to have my hands all over you 24-7. Then he gives me his phone number. Try to give me as much notice as you can when you think you're leaving. So I can be back from the store and ready for you. So at this point, I know he's going to leave to go to the store on his bicycle. At least that's what he tells me is going to happen, right? I take it with a grain of salt because predators can be very tricky. They can tell you they're in one vehicle when it turns out they're in a completely different vehicle. Different color, different make, different everything. They can tell you that they're over here when they're actually over there, you know? So I take everything that a predator says with a grain of salt, but I thought this is an opportunity. What if? What if this was true? What if he was actually going to go to the store on his bicycle before I come over there? But I have no idea when he'll do that. And I knew that... I can't just go over there at a specific time that he tells me to because then I, I can't film him. I, you know, he, he probably wouldn't answer the door if I did, if I were to go on his property. Like, there's all sorts of things that, that wouldn't work, you know. The only thing I could think of is just stake out and wait. Wait for him to go on his bicycle somewhere. You know, just, just wait. Just wait. Just maybe, maybe he won it. Maybe he had all the, the, the stuff there. Um, but I would do a few tricks, I had a few tricks on my sleeve. I would do a few things that would pressure him to get out and pedal his donkey. <laughs> but I didn't know. I didn't know when he was going to the store. I didn't know if it was in five minutes or five hours. I had no idea. So I, I started driving over there. The predator's about to need this tow truck. You know why? Because he's about to get wrecked. Ah! I'm just winging this. I'm really just, this is just all pretty much improv. I am going to arrive to his neighborhood just before he's about to get groceries. So hopefully I'll see him on his bicycle. I have his phone number. So what I'm going to do is right before confronting him, slow down, Zach, dang. Right before confronting him, I'm going to call his phone and throw him off guard a little bit. Um, then uh, call him out. I really don't know how it's going to work. I know that he's super paranoid. He's really freaked out. I just want to confront him. I just want to see his face in person. That's all I want to do. That's, that's it. I don't know if I'm going to stake out for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours. I have no idea. Seriously, this could last into the night. Because I told him that, yeah, you know, I can arrive at night. So, and it's 3.49 p.m. right now. <laughs> but I just want that opportunity. I have to seize the opportunity at all costs. Him on his bike riding to the grocery store, preparing to get things, you know, for to eat tonight. I have to stop at the post office later, probably after I confront the predator, <laughs> um, because Hannah from Texas bought a long sleeve anxiety wear shirt. Thank you, Hannah. Uh-oh, here we go. Now you may think this video is long, but the whole video on my Patreon, Anxiety Wear Raw, is nearly two hours long. And also a confrontation that was one of the longest and most mentally draining, it stunk. Now, I wouldn't be making videos like this without the thousands of members on my Patreon. They are the ones who make this all possible. And if you want to support this channel and watch full Predator videos, ho however long they are, this one two hours, plus confrontation commentary, bonus footage, podcasts, I do it all. Ugh, mosquitoes, get away from me. You can sign up for Anxiety War Raw at patreon.com slash anxietywar. And as a token of my appreciation, you'll get an Anxiety War Raw proud member holographic sticker. Oh, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Now, looks like that bicycle is the only thing you're going to be riding tonight, huh? The chat log does not lie. <laughs>